This video deals with domain 5 concept. Single sign on, also known as SSO. So, what is single sign on? As the picture suggests, single sign on is nothing but single key for all the logs, that is, single user ID and password for all the applications. It is a user authentication service that permits a user one set of login credential that is name and password to access multiple applications advantages of single sign on multiple passwords not required this encourages user to select a stronger password administrators ability to manage users account improved also helps in reduction of administrative overhead cost. Reduces time taken by user to login into multiple applications. Some of the disadvantages. Okay, single authentication point for multiple application. Major risk. Support of all major operating system environment is difficult. So, this was already being asked in CISA exam. Major risk of SSO is it acts as a single authentication point for multiple application, hence single point of failure. So, point to remember for CISA exam. When CISA question is about major risk of SSO, our answer should be it acts as a single authentication point for multiple applications or it acts as a single point of failure. But if both the options are there, we need to select the first one that is single authentication point of multiple application because this is more specific answer as compared to SSO acts as a single point of failure. Also, when CISA question is about most important control for SSO, our answer should be implementation of strong password policy. So what is the Kerberos? It is an example of single sign. So here, both server and user, they need to authenticate themselves. Thanks for watching. For more such video, please visit datainfosec.com.